Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about properties of logarithms. I'm going to condense each expression to a single logarithm. So, if I was given this logarithm, 2 log of 7 <clears throat> divided by 3. Well, 2 log 7 divided by 3. How do we condense this? Well, I'm going to look right now at the, the 2 and the 3 right there. I can rewrite that to be well, 2 thirds out front log of 7. Okay? So now I have 2 thirds out front log of 7. Well, 2 thirds is still a number. It's a fraction, but it's still a number. And we can write that as the power of the 7. Okay? So we can rewrite this to be log of 7 to the 2 thirds power. That's not enough. But since that third's in there, we know that's going to mean the third root. So two thirds power, all right, we'll take a two thirds power of seven. We can rewrite that to be now the log of the third root, that's the one third right there, the third root of seven squared. And there we have it. Our final answer here is this log of the third root of seven squared. So let's recap. We're given two log of seven divided by three. That two and three I rewrote to be out in front to have be two thirds. That two thirds I wrote as the exponent then next of the seven, because we're going to bring it out top or up top there. Okay? So we have log of seven to the two thirds power. Seven to the two thirds is the same thing as the third root of seven squared. So when we rewrite our final answer here, we just can write the log of the third root of seven squared. 